It's part one of our extreme master bathroom makeover. We are taking this early 2000s master bathroom and slowly turning it into a modern farmhouse style bathroom. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because I have tons of more makeovers coming your way with farmhouse decorating videos also to finish out this year. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and this is Life Made Simple. I do a ton of DIYs, home renovations, and cleaning motivation on this channel. I also run a blog called lifemadesimple.blog where I do pretty much the exact same thing over there but on my website. Today we are going to be flipping my master bathroom. This has been a long time coming. I have flipped this house from top to bottom and I do room by room, but I also have two children's, so it takes me quite a while. If you're into the more real time as it's happening type of updates, head over to my Instagram, lifemadesimple underscore blog. I share a lot of things that are going on in my home as it's happening over there. Now let's go back in time to 2018 to see what this bathroom looked like two weeks before moving in. It was a hot mess. I'm telling you, we have replaced the vanity completely. New countertops, new actual bottom vanity, because this one was outrageously disgusting. Inside the drawers, it was just covered in like bubbled up mess from makeup and water building up in there. It was so gross. We took down the mirror, replaced that. Before we get to the actual bathroom makeover, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Decenio. Decenio offers trendy, high quality Scandinavian prints and frames. They are consistently updating their collections on a regular basis on their website. I have personally loved Decenio's website for years now. I love that they have something for everyone and every style. You can search by categories to narrow down whatever it is that you like, and that will make it a lot easier to find the prints that you desire. They also offer a gallery section on their website that I found super helpful when I was searching for what I wanted to buy. They can help you kind of put the pictures together so you can visually see it up on the wall as a group of photos. And that helps you kind of see what you want to put in your own home. Decenio was nice enough to offer a discount code for my subscribers. It is a life made simple, all one word in capital letters. It's 25% discount code on prints only, does not include frames or hand-picked personal prints. It is valid until midnight from October 6th till the 8th, and then they were nice enough to also extend this discount code from October 13th to the 15th. I absolutely love the quality of these prints that I chose from Decenio. I chose these two horse photos because if you don't know me personally, I used to ride horses for many, many years. I showed them and these photos right here remind me of a very special horse named Mark. He was my first show horse that I really, really got to bond with and I loved him so much and he looks exactly like these horses in these photos. So I was super happy when I found them on their website. Okay, so now let's get into this bathroom makeover part one. First, what I'm going to be doing is I am getting rid of these bathroom fixtures. I have a towel bar holder right here. I'm guessing this is probably for the jacuzzi tub. And then I also will be taking down our towel holder that's over by the shower. I just want to update these and make them black like the fixtures that I have on my vanity. I was having the hardest time getting this tiny little screw out of the very bottom. If you don't know, this is kind of what holds these towel bars on and then there's screws on the inside. I thought I'd be able to use my drill, but it was really, really hard to get the drill bit up in that area. So I had to go find a screwdriver to do it. <laughs>
this stuff right here is a must. I absolutely love that when you put it on, it's pink and then it dries a white because I am such an impatient person. I tend to want to jump the gun and do everything without letting it dry or doing all the correct timings. So this has been a lifesaver for me because I know if I come in here and it's still pink, then I need to just wait a little bit longer. But yeah, this is what it looks like when you put it on. You always wanna put it on a little bit thicker than you normally would because you're gonna go in and just kind of like lightly sand that area. no clue where I saw that trick from like holding the hose like the vacuum hose under your sander while sanding like honestly that could have been a really big mess but this is all that's left on the floor just a little bit of dust and barely anything over here so that makes cleanup so much easier highly recommend that as you're watching this, you're probably like, girl, you make no sense. You're all over the place. You will realize that I only paint the trim right here in this bathroom white because I will be doing the other trim later. I still have to do the door. I have the trim on the other side of the room over by that chair that I have to completely rip off and replace. But I'm doing a little here and there because I get the time that I get to do this and I just do little pieces at a time. Okay, this is like day 100 or something of this bathroom renovation. As you can tell, there's a lot of unfinished things in this room. I currently have my toddler stealing my shoe and trading it out for her father's shoe. Um, but we are about to paint. A lot of these spots, sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy here, spots that we have filled up. And then I'm going to be hanging some beautiful artwork from Decenio. And hopefully today I have an Amazon package coming. I decided to go with um, ordering my towel hooks and a toilet paper hole. Wait, how do you say that? Toilet paper roll holder off of Amazon because one, it was cheaper and two, have you tried to find black fixtures at Lowe's or Home Depot? It's just like, they don't have them unless you go online. So I wanted it fairly quickly and knew that I needed it before the weekend. So those should arrive today. Now let's get painting. So this is many hours later just because I only have time on the weekends and at nap times and after bedtime to work on these projects and this was pretty much a whole week's worth of filming. That's how long it took me. Partly too because I was waiting on stuff to come in from Amazon but I also try to go to bed at a decent time because I wake up fairly early with getting ready and taking my kids to school or one of my kids to school at least. So 
that's why I kind of do things here and there. It just works for me and it makes sense. That way I don't get extremely overwhelmed also. have no idea how happy I was to hang something on this wall. I always felt like it was super bare and it looked like the perfect space to put some artwork. So I was so happy when I found these prints on Decenio. I absolutely love the outdoors and this is definitely a fall scene of a mountainscape, but I love fall and I love the mountains and it just was calling my name. So I got that for that area and then my fixtures finally came in from Amazon. It did not take that long at all, but I was loving these. I will leave these towel hooks down in the description, but if you do buy them, be aware that you will need to buy new drywall anchors. These are the ones that we use for everything and the smaller one is what came with these hooks and they were not worth it at all. We put them in and they just fell straight through the back and down into the wall. Okay so I'm going to give you a small tour of this part one of my bathroom renovation. We finally got all the door frame and all the trim out here in my bedroom painted. We got the frame on the inside of the bathroom done. Next step is to see if we have enough tile to refinish this spot. When we replaced this vanity in here, they're actually, it like, they grouted it to the old vanity. So it kind of pulled it all up, damaged tiles, had to take them out. And I'm hoping we have enough extra upstairs. So we will be finishing that finished painting. I'm going to be adding something here on the side like a railing probably but all this is nice and painted. I still have some stuff I have to finish on this wall. I'm going to probably be adding a protectant coat on the wood, putting some trim pieces up on the side. I have some paint to finish up near the top. That's why the ladder is still in here and then obviously I need to paint over here. But it is looking so different from where I like pretty much started a couple days ago. We're going to be finishing this accent wall over here and doing the same as we are with this wood. But finally got rid of all these fixtures that I did not like and I added the new ones from Amazon, which I really, really love these. They're so nice and sleek and they match the hardware that I got from Lowe's uh, about a year ago. And they match the mirrors and the frames. Now, in the beginning, you probably noticed that I had a mirror on this door. Well, I actually took it off and I decided to take the chalk paint that I used on my fireplace makeover and my dresser makeover, this dresser right here, and I painted the outside frame just as temporary. I really, really want to go buy a new frame that matches these at Target. I have one in mind that I really like, but just to save money and it's not a necessary thing for me to do at the moment, I decided to paint that one. It will be just fine. I've literally had that mirror for like six years and got it from Bed Bath & Beyond for 40 bucks. So it does what it needs to do. It is perfectly fine. Also, my next thing is we will be taking this baseboard out because for some reason they had went down here and cut it in 45 degree angled. Well, you can see it's not straight at all. I have that spot to sand. So I'm going to be replacing this whole baseboard, putting cord around in here, making it look a lot nicer, and then still having to paint over here. But this is our new toilet paper hole roll. How do you say that? Toilet paper hole, toilet paper roll 
holder. It matches all the other hardware, super inexpensive. I will leave it linked down below, but I am loving how this is all turning out. I still have to get in there and paint. That is the hardest part to do. And then I think I'm framing this little window out and it's gonna look so good in here. So if you wanna see the rest of the transformation, make sure you stay tuned up in the next coming weeks. Hopefully I will be getting this room done and then we will have the end reveal. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.